Oh my god, it's awful. It's so painful. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another episode of A Latte Words where we sip some coffee and talk uh, about words. Ah. Uh, yeah. Baby Chino. We got to a hundred subscribers. Uh, Yay. Somebody wants a Baby Chino. Baby Chino. Okay. We'll do a Baby Chino. Pacino come right up. Oh. Still learning how to work this thing. Okay. <gasps> Yay! It's not exactly frothy this time, is it? Oh, you're drinking it so nicely. Yay! My baby Chino buddy. I won't show you the mess. He poured okay. it everywhere. It's all gone. You poured it. You poured it all out. Oh, God. I'm not making you more. Thank you. Hello. Okay. I'm going to make you one more baby chino. Eight. And this time it's going to go in a sippy cup. Eight. Okay, where were we? Today, we are celebrating 100 subscribers! Yay! Thank you so much, everybody who subscribed to us. And we're so excited to keep bringing you more content. To commemorate 100 subscribers, I know that we don't necessarily get a plaque from YouTube, so I made my own out of cardboard. What do you think? I don't know. I'm kind of proud of it. I think it looks good. A little. No? You don't think it looks good? Well, as you can probably guess, things got a little bit crazy after that. So as you can see, this is a different day and I wanted to deliver my promise from a previous video that once I hit 100 subscribers, I will read from my high school journal. Okay, so I found this old journal called Thoughts. And so I just opened up to a random page and already it's gold. So let's just start reading. December 13th. 2001. I'm going to become a nun. That's it. I give up. Michael S. asked Sasha for her phone number. I thought he liked me. He was, underlined, always smiling at me. This is so typical. I'm going on my stupid science trip tomorrow. Well, I hope Michael and Sasha are happy together. I'm certainly not. Michael is just another Cali jerk. I thought he was the one. How stupid can I be? Okay, this is where it gets weird. Sometimes I would randomly make a note about what is currently playing on my radio. So I was listening to the radio at this point, and so I make a note, NSYNC ad. Ruben H. Fleet, which I think is some sort of venue, is opening up a concert film bigger than life this weekend. Two, Two. bad things about this. One, bigger than life sounds a lot like BSB's Backstreet Boys. Larger than life. But of course, NSYNC is talking about themselves. While BSB is talking about their fans. Two, I'm going there for my field trip tomorrow. I'm just gonna keep reading because this is brilliant. December 15th, 2001. No field trip. My mom took pity on me and said I didn't have to go. The truth is, I'm not positive Michael S. asked for her number. I was just really upset last time I wrote. Here's what I heard. Michael S. said something. Sasha, oh sure, write something down. Michael S. goes to his friend and says something like, 
it's all set. And that's all I heard. Yesterday, we were doing our workbooks in science. Two people were gone at Michael's table, three at mine, so I was sitting alone. Well, Michael and his friend decided to sit across from me. Spoiler alert, his friend actually ends up being my first ever boyfriend. They ditched Sasha. Anyway, I asked Michael for the answer to something. I can't read it. And he was about to get it and tell me when his friend tried to listen in on the answer. So Michael walked over to me and whispered in my ear the answer. Swoon. I actually wrote swoon. He was also sort of talking to me. I'm planning on asking Michael to see Lord of the Rings with my friends this Friday. <laughs> then there's a timestamp, 1.55 p.m. In parentheses, 48 hours, 40 minutes to Michael. I saw Michael S. riding his bike to my neighborhood. He's going to ride down my street. He's going to ring my doorbell. Yes, Michael, come to me. I'm willing you to come to me. Looking down my street, nothing. Well, he might be stopping at his friend's house or something. Then he'll come to my house and hand me roses. Come on, Michael S. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's awful. It's so painful. Oh. The things I do for you people. I actually did get up the courage to ask him to see the Lord of the Rings with my friends and I. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself that I did this. I was only in the seventh grade and, you know, it takes a lot to ask your huge crush to go out with you. So he obviously said no. I ended up getting over him and then I started kind of dating his friend. And I guess that's teenage life for you. Anyway, I wanted to read this diary entry to commemorate 100 subscribers and thank you all for subscribing and following this channel and kind of listening to all of my caffeinated ramblings and definitely will continue this little series of random journal entries as I mark new subscriber milestones. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe below. You're going to get more of this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye!